everybody. How are you today? Welcome to Romper Room. My name's Miss Kim, and I've got all sorts of children here to say good morning to you today. And what about Adam coming up here first to say hi to everyone? Come on, Adam. Mm. All my friends are here, aren't they? We've been having a little game while we've been waiting. This is my friend Adam, everybody. Say hello to all the boys and girls. Hello. And listen, Adam, who's out there watching you today? Mum. And? And Nan. And what's your sister's name? Christy. That's right. You've come a long way to be in Romper Room today too, haven't you? Did you come down I by car? I didn't. You didn't come too far? Did you come by car or train, Adam? By car? Yeah. Did you? That's good. Let's give Mum a big wave and Nana. Where's Nana? Hi, Mummy. Hi, Nana. Hi, Christy. That's the boy. This is my friend Adam. All right, you can sit down now. Off you go. Are you going to come up and have a talk to me, Jason? How are you today? Listen, Jason was telling me that he's been on holiday. Jess, where are you going? Over here. North Haven. Where have you been to North Haven? And what did you do when you went on holidays? I swim. Do, can you swim without floaties? No, um, no, I can't. Do you have to have floaties? Oh, that's all right. If you need floaties, though, you wear no, them, I won't you? Because it doesn't matter. Or a bubble. That's all right, too, isn't it, Joel? Yeah, you put on mm. your back. That's right. You do. Listen, who went on holidays with you, Jason? Um, my sister, my mum, and my, my, my dad. Dear, it sounds like you've had a lovely time well, on your holiday. My dad, but my dad is hospital now. Oh dear, I hope he's all right. Yeah, well, well, let's give him a lovely big wave to cheer him up. Come on. Lovely big wave out there for you, Dad. There you he's are. He's not here. Well, it doesn't matter. He might be watching us on the television. Yeah. The whole, we'll give him a lovely big wave. Hi, Dad. I hope you're feeling Hi, a lot better. And Granddad, too, and over there. And then my mum. <laughs> and then Nana and Mum. <laughs> this is my friend Jason. You come over here now, Brooke, and you say good morning to everybody. This is Brooke. How are you today, Brooke? Good. Good. What, what news have you got to tell me about today? Um, sometimes I play with my dolls. Have you got a lot of dolls at home? Mm -hmm. I bet you have to. Are they really big dolls or are they little dolls or baby dolls? What are they like? Little dolls little. and big ones. You've got both sorts. Dear, oh dear. It sounds like you've got a lot of dolls at home. Have you got one favourite? Yep. What's the name? Player. Oh, that's a nice Santa one. Santa bring me that one. Oh, he always brings nice things, doesn't he? Oh, no. Yeah. He knows he just man. what to bring, doesn't he? Uh, I got him. Oh, see, he knows what to bring what the boys too, doesn't he? he They're good too, aren't they? Let's say hi to everyone. Brooke, who's watching you today? My mum and <laughs> daddy. daddy. And who's daddy holding? Shay. Who's that? Shay. Is that your little sister? Kimberly. Kimberly. Let's give Kimberly a big wave too. Hi, Mummy and Daddy. Hi, Kimberly. She's only a baby. You can sit down there, Brooke. How about Alita coming up here and Joel? Come on, Joel. Because Alita and Joel are friends. You come on this side of me. That's the girl. This is Alita. And Joel, you come around here. That's the boy. Now, how are you, children? Good. Well, Good. now who was telling they went to Hayman Island? It was Joel, wasn't it? No, no Hayman Island. Heron Island. Oh, I'm sorry. Tell everybody what you did over there on your holidays. Um, I, uh, did you do some swimming? Yes, and and I and I, and I had a, a little go in the cabin. Did you? Yeah, and I oh. sleep in the cabin. Was that good fun? Yeah. Dear, you were lucky. Wasn't he lucky, Alita, to go no, like that? What, darling? We're going to get a houseboat. A houseboat? Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, dear, and Jason's going to get a houseboat too. Isn't that lovely? Did you go in a boat? Yes, to an island. Oh, to go, well, you have to go on a boat to get to the island, don't you? You're going to get your houseboat for your birthday, darling. That'll be good. Mummy and Daddy will like that too. Joel, you come over here because you have to wave to my friends. And Lita, you tell everyone where you went for your holiday. Sydney. You went down to Sydney. Mm -hmm. And you tell everyone what you saw. I saw the Opera House. Yes. And the Sydney Harbour Bridge, didn't you? You went there too. Ooh. Come on, come here and give everyone a wave, Joel. Let's give Mummy and Daddy a big wave too. Come on, let's say hi. Big wave. Hello, everybody. You wave over there too. I'm going to say girl. hello to Mummy and Daddy. All right. Well, you say and hello. Luke. All right. You've got to give them a wave. Hi, Mummy and Daddy and Luke. 
<laughs> there you are. I've got one more friend to say good morning to. Come on, Roxanne, you come up here. You can sit down now, Lita. How are you today, Roxanne? Good. Good girl. You turn around this way. I think your grandma's over there, isn't she? She was having a little talk to me. Mm. And are you on holidays? Are you, are you staying with grandma? No, grandma just came in today to have a look, did she? Isn't that lovely? Very special when grandma and nana and pop comes in too, isn't it, Brooke? Mm. Have you got any brothers or sisters, Roxanne? A brother. A brother. What's his name? Matthew. Matthew. You're going to give him a wave? Is he watching us today? Well, let's give him a wave. You never know. He might just be out there watching us on the television, mightn't he? And let's give Nana a wave too. Hi. Hello, everybody. We're going to go and play some games now. Do you know what I think we might do? Who had a big sleep last night? Me. Me. I did because I was coming on therapy. Well, you come over here. I'm going to see if I can trick you today. I don't think I will be able to trick my friends. What I think we'll do, we'll stand up along here under the tree. Come here. Brooke, you come here. Side by side, Jason, you come here. That's right. You come over here, Joel. That's right. You turn around face Mummy. Alita. Right, now everyone stand nice and tall and straight. And I'm going to see if Simon can catch my friends out. Simon says to clap your hands. Simon says to stop. Simon says to touch your knees. Simon says stand up straight. Simon says touch your nose. Simon says touch your head. Simon says put your hands behind your back. Simon says to jump. Simon says to stop. Simon says touch your knees. Simon says stand up straight. Simon says touch your knees. Simon says stand up straight. Touch the floor. <gasps> Who did I catch? Brooke! Oh. Did I catch you, Joel? Oh, we Well, wait a minute. You stay there. I'll try again. You ready, friends at home? Let's see if I can trick you again. Simon says to roll your hands like this. Simon says to stop. Simon says to clap your hands. Simon says to stop. Simon says, touch your ears. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your chin. Simon says, to shake your hands. Simon says, to stop. Touch the floor. <gasps> <laughs> Dear, <laughs> Simon says, we better go and play another game. Oh, I know, we're going to play follow the leader. Wonder what we can be today. Come over here, boys and girls. I know what. Oh, 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 what can we be? Well, who went, who went down to Sydney? Who's ever been to a zoo? Me. me. I have. I have. I have. I, have. I, have. I, have. I haven't. I think we could pretend to be all sorts of animals, don't you? you? Know what? I, 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 what could we be, Jason? What would you like to be? A giraffe. <gasps> a giraffe? You oh, we've got a long like neck. Like a too. All right, you're going you to be a giraffe too. What are you no, going to be, Anna? An elephant. An elephant. I could, oh. be, I could be a pig, a giraffe too. Oh yes, well we'll all be giraffes when it's Jason's turn. What if, would you like to be, Elita? A Alita? butterfly. A butterfly, that's nice. What are you going to be, Roxanne? Tiger. A tiger. <gasps> oh, well come on, everybody over here. Come here, boys. We're going to be a giraffe first of all, so we're going to have a long neck because they have long necks. So let's put our arm up. That can be our long neck, you see. And it can pre be pretending to eat the leaves off the trees. All right. We can might walk around here, though. So let's walk around here and pretend that we're going to be a giraffe. Oh, we've got to ask Mr. Music. <gasps> Come over here. Come on, Joel. And we'll ask Mr. Music. Ready, please, Mr. Music. Oh, I'm going to eat the leaves. Too. Off I go. Oh, show us what to do, what to do, what to do. We'll follow you wherever you may go. See us do what you do, what you do, what you do. See us follow you wherever you may go. I thought somebody was going to be an elephant. Adam's going to be an elephant. Come on, Adam, over here. This time we've got to pretend we've got a really long nose. That's our trunk, so let's... Off you go, Adam. Let's be elephants this time, Joel. Oh, show us what to do, what to do, what to do. We'll follow you wherever you may go. See us do what you do, what you do, what you do. See us follow you wherever you may go. Swing your trunk from side to side. 
That's it. Come back over here, boys and girls, because I think we were going to be tigers. Who was going to be a tiger? Come on, Roxanne, let's be tigers. Oh, oh show us what to do, what to do, what to do. We'll follow you wherever you may go. Let's go around. See us do what you do, what you do, what you do. See us follow you may go. Let's run over here. We were all sorts of things at the zoo, weren't we? wonder what other animals we could be at the zoo. You've been a tiger. Oh, someone was going to be a butterfly. Who was that? Alita was going to be a butterfly. Could you think of something else that flies? What else could we be that flies? A bee. A bee and a bird. All right, we'll be those three things. Let's be a butterfly first. Ready with your wings? Let's ask Mr. Music again. Ready, please, Mr. Music. Let your wings go like this. Round this way, boys and girls. Oh, show us what to do, what to do, what to do. We'll follow you wherever you may go. Butterflies have lovely wings, do, don't they? What do, what Let them fly. See us follow you wherever you may go. Now, what sound does a bee make? to be a bird. Let's be um, a little blue bird. Flap our wings nicely. That's right. And let's hop around and fly around. Up we go. Oh, show us what to do, what to do, what to do. We'll follow you wherever you may go. See us do what you do, what you do, what you do. See us follow you wherever you may go. We a lot of things today, all sorts of things. You know, talking of bees. Yeah. Shh. If we're very quiet, come over here, everybody. Shh. Very quiet. I'll see if Mr. Doofy is there. Yeah. <gasps> there he is. Hello, Mr. Doofy. Oh, Mr. Hello. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Doofy. Look, he's coming. Oh, how many? A lot of times this week, haven't you, Mr. Doobie? Oh, Mr. Doobie. Well, he's been in Romper and... Do you know what? He's so worried about the boys and girls. Because he's been flying around all over the place and he's been noticing the boys and girls are Hi, not Mr. stopping Doobie. at the traffic lights. You know what? Listen, what has it got to be for you to stop when the traffic lights are... Red. No, you have to red. stop when... Red. 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 Stop. That's right. We have to say stop. If Mr. they're Doobie. orange, what do we do? Get ready. Get ready, to, get ready stop. to stop. If they're green, what do we do? Go. Then we can go if it's green. So Mr. Doobie's a little bit worried, aren't you, Mr. Doobie? All right. Listen, let's have our puppets. They are boys and girls. Has everyone got a puppet? Oh, Roxanne? Oh. Oh, we better put that one away. Mr. Doobie. <laughs> there you are. Mr. Doobie, we're going to sing our song. Mr. Doobie. Would you like to sing with us too? All right. Let's turn around and face Mum and Dad out there. And we're going to sing beautifully today, Mr. Doobie. You join us as well. All right, then. Ready, please, Mr. Muse. Let's turn and face Mummy and Daddy. I always do what's right. I never do anything wrong. I'm a romper Doobie. A Doobie all day long. Buzz, buzz. Mr. Do oh, Mr. Doobie, there you are. Listen, we have to go now. We've got a lot of games to play, Mr. Doobie. So, no, thanks for coming in today. Yeah. He's going to go flying, he said. He's going to go flying again. Bye, Mr. Doobie. Oh, I'll lock the door, Mr. Doobie. Oh, he told me to lock the door. All right, I'll lock the door. All right. Bye, Mr. Doobie. Hey, wasn't that nice of Mr. Doobie to come here? He forgot to put his thing There we are. We'll lock his door. You always have to lock the door, don't you? He when you get in the house. Another time, really. Maybe another time he will, won't he? Let's go over here and have our refreshments. Here, boys and girls.
you like to be my helpers? Would you like to pick up some of those? We're going to have our refreshments now, boys. You come here too. Move your toys back for me because we're going to have some orange juice. Does everyone like orange juice? That's good. So do I. I like orange juice. I do too. There we go. There we are, Adam. There's one for you. Oh, Jason. Oh, here you are. Roxanne has one for you. Brooke? Thank you. Good girl. That one must be mine. Thanks, Roxanne, and one must be yours. I saw the man behind Jason? the doobie. Oh, yes, I've, I've got lots of helpers. Did you know that? And I have got lots of helpers. The behind the mm, that's my helper. Is yes. Yeah, oh, there you are, Joel. There's one for you. And one for you too. There you go, Roxette. We better say our thank yous all together. You say your thank yous too. Close your eyes. Put your hands together. We say for our family, our friends and our food, we say thank you. I say that. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> no, no. Mm. no I, was, mine. I was very thirsty. Oh, that I was lovely. Oh, you must have been thirsty too, Alita. Well, was Wasn't that beautiful? Do I like that today? I did too. I was very thirsty. Boys, would you like to put your placemats away for me? That's the way. We'll pop them all away. Right. Good girl, Brooke. Joel's almost finished. Would you like to put mine away too, Paul? Good girl, thank you. So was I. Oh, he's just finished now. Thanks, Joel. You put your place in that away too. Good boy. There they go. Listen, I think I... I think I saw the postman over there earlier. I think I did. I'll go and have a look at my mailbox. Oh, hi, Mr. Brown. Hi. Oh, dear. Looks like he's left a lot of letters in here. It's quite full. My goodness, look at all my letters. Wait a minute. Mm, got lots and lots, haven't we? It's big. Whoops. Lots and lots of letters. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a little picture for me, isn't it? Well, well, you have a look at those, and I'm going to read some of these. Now, what does this one look like? Roxanne, you can hold that one for me, too. Right, now, this one says, you listen, does anybody know a little boy named Ben? No. Yes. No? no? I know no. two boys. Well, this might be one of your friends, because it says, To dear Miss Kim, my name is Ben, and I'm three and a half. I just love to watch romp room each morning. My favourite game is galloping horses. I have a big sister, Katie, who has just turned five, and she's been on romp room a few weeks ago. I know it takes a long time before you can go on, so can I have a form, please, sent to me, so that I might be able to come and see you when I'm four. I have two dogs, an old blind one called Sam, and a pup called Rocky. I love to play with Rocky, and I have a bird called Sweetie, too. Bye for now, love from Ben. Wasn't that a nice letter? Oh, let me look at that one. Isn't that beautiful? We might hold that around so that everybody can see that. I'm going to hold this one. Hold that that way so everyone out there can see it, too, for me. That's lovely, isn't it? What have you got there, Jason? That's Mr. Doobie. Well, I better read this one. This is from Megan, and it says, To dear Miss Kim, my name is Megan, and I watch Romp Room every day. I'll be five in October, and I go to school next year. I have a baby brother called Jeffrey, and an older brother and sister, Gregory oh, and no, Lisa. Jeffrey. Oh, isn't that a beauty too, Adam? What is this one? Oh, look, I've got so many letters. Here's another one. What's this one say? Dear Miss Kim, would you please send me a form, because I would love to come on Romp Room. My name is Lauren and I'll be four years old next year. Please find enclosed a picture that I have drawn for you. 
I watch Romp Room every day when I'm home at 9 o'clock and I love joining in. Well, I've got that many letters. Do you think I'd better pop them all back in there, boys and girls? Let's open it up. Thanks, Brooke. Can you put that in there for me too? So many letters today. Oh. You never know what you're going to find in my letterbox. Wait a minute, we'll throw all these away, Brooke. And then we can fly some more games. We will too. Boys and girls, just while I've got my... You put your hand down there, darling, because everyone can see my address then. Boys and girls, why I have my box here. <laughs> That's it, Alita. Just another reminder, boys and girls, that children who appear on Romper Room must be four years old only. And that means that when you're three or three and a half, that's the time to put your form in. Please, please don't wait until you're four because there's such a long waiting list, you'll be too old. Okay, Mummy? This is the address to which to write, the Romper Room School, NBN3, Post Office Box 1000, Newcastle, 2300. All right, boys and girls? I think we better go and do some bending and stretching. Oh, don't bye. you? I know. All my friends are growing up so quickly. Let's go over here. Can you do some bending and stretching? Have you been doing that at gross motor at school or preschool? I've been doing it every day. Come and I'll help you, boys and girls. Look, you just pull them off. Here, here. Who needs one? Roxanne, there's one for you too. And that one's mine. We have to spread out a bit to go bending and stretching. Move out so you, you don't bump into one. Oh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's move out. You need a lot of room. Arms out straight. That's right. Let me see. You move over this way, Brooke. And Adam, you come over this way too. Otherwise, we're going to bump into one another. Right. Roxanne, you take one step backwards next to me. Do you know the bending and stretching song, boys and girls? Yep. All right, arms out straight in front. And let's ask Mr. Music. We'll ask him to see if he's ready. Ready, please, Mr. Music. Oh, boys, arms out straight. All the way down and touch your toes. Oh, that's a long way down. Who can touch their toes? Oh, not quite. Stretch as high as you can. Let's sway from side to side. Bend and stretch, reach for the stars. There goes Jupiter, here comes Mars. Bend and stretch, reach for the sky. Stand on tippy toe, oh so high. Let me see how tall you can be on your tippy toes. Can you turn around? circle on your tippy toes. Oh, very good. Let's go back the other way. Gets a little bit giddy that way, doesn't it? Arms out straight again. You sing with us too, boys and girls at home. Down you go. Bend and stretch. Reach for the stars. There goes Jupiter. Here comes Mars. Bend and stretch. Reach for the sky, oh, up we go. Stand, Stand on tippy toe, oh so high. And slowly come down. Oh, how did you go, everybody? Good. I think everybody did very well, didn't they? There you go, you just push them there. That's right, boys and girls. Oh, everyone's very good at putting them back for me. I can put them back. You push it back for me. Come on over here, boys and girls. We're going to read today's story. There we go. That's our Punchinello. You can just leave it over there, Joel. Yes. Would you like to all sit up here, boys and girls? Sit up there so my friends at home can see you. He does too. You sit up there too so everyone can see too, Brooke. That's I'm right. Sit down there. You're going to sit down there? Sit down. We're going to read a story all about Thomas. And Thomas, Thomas. is little. I'm bigger than you. I'm bigger than you. Look. I'm even bigger. I'm even bigger. Thomas is no, little. I'm even bigger. 
But his father is big. You see that? That is full. Mm. This is Thomas's teddy. Thomas loves him very much because he's warm and he's squashy and he's soft. Have you got a teddy at home? I have one. I got one. I got one. I got one. I got a yellow one. I got a yellow one. He loves his wooden lorry too. But that's hard and red and shiny. It's not like his teddy, is it? Thomas has a blue elephant which he rides on. It's fat. He got a hundred. Oh, my goodness. I got a hundred teddy bears. That's a lot. But the doll who is such elephants. great fun to dance with, she's thin. And I got big elephants. <gasps> Thomas has got an elephant too. Thomas has a big heavy box. It's full of bricks of all sorts of shapes and sizes. Sometimes he lifts them all out with a great clatter. Then the box is empty. Have you got a toy box at home too, boys and girls? I got one really big. I got one really big. When the bricks won't stand up properly, Thomas is cross. He gets very cranky. But when he builds two tall towers very carefully, they do stand up, and Thomas is very happy. <coughs> we were building things over there, weren't we, boys and girls? Yep. When Romper Room started. Thomas has a sandpit, oh, a I bucket, and two spades. One is very heavy with a long handle. The other is small and shiny. He likes using this one the best, because the handle is short, and he can use that one. I know. If we've got time, we will. All right. Sometimes Thomas plays in the sandpit all day, and he gets dirty. Oh, and then he gets very dirty. And the only way to get clean again is to have a nice hot, splashy bath. His clothes are nearly getting a bath too. See how he's splashing all the water all over the place? Ooh, he's going to be in trouble. He sure will be, yes. Thomas is dripping wet when he gets out of the bath, but he dries himself with a towel. Teddy is quite dry. He hasn't had a bath. Just as well. Then Thomas likes his porridge for supper. Sometimes it's too hot. To make it cool, he pours very cold milk all over it. Oh, yuck. Oh, I think that sounds nice. Yuck. Then he can start I eating it right away because he's very hungry. My so mum eats porridge. Does she? Oh, it's very and good me. for you. Oh, too. that's good. Now the plate is empty and Thomas feels quite full. His well, tummy's full come now. With Mr. Danny? I don't think we'll have time, darling. Oh, look. Thomas wishes that it wasn't time to go to bed. He feels lively and bouncy. He just feels like a clown in a circus. So he jumps all over his bed. <laughs> Mummy says he must stop bouncing around. And she tucks him up co cosily and reads him a story. It's warm. <gasps> oh, he has a big yawn. And then he does feel tired. Thomas and Teddy can hardly keep their eyes open. I expect they'll sleep all night long, and by morning, they'll be quite wide awake. So that's Thomas. After a big day, he's ready to go to sleep. Does that happen to you two boys and girls? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I have no. dreams. Oh, dear. But they're only dreams. They're not real, are they? I've got to say goodbye, everybody. Would you like to stay here? And I'll be right back, OK? I'll look through my magic mirror. Did you tell your friends where you were coming today? Because they might be out there. I'll have a look and see. I'll say these magic words. romp a bump a stomp a boo Tell me, tell me, tell me, do. Please, magic mirror, tell me today. Did all my friends have fun at play? 